Now we have Chaz Darby here. Now Chaz, you say all you want to do is be heard. Well, you've got the whole world listening. What do you got to say? Um, well, I guess all we had to say is that we want to be heard. Yeah, well, we've kind of established that. What else? A couple of months ago, we did an episode on Dog Day Afternoon for Pride Month. Sidney Lumet's now classic real-life story starring Al Pacino and John Casale, who take a bank hostage. Will you What's get the doing? fuck back there? Huh? Get back What's there! What's he doing? Look at him with him! Get over there! Go on back there, man! Get over there, will ya? He wants to kill me so bad, he can taste it! Oh, God, I was gonna kill him. Attica! Attica! Will you Attica! Attica! In the process, they become unlikely celebrities and heroes to many when the story hits the TV screen. Tonight, we're talking about a movie that takes the same premise and brings it into the music world. Give me back off! Get back! God damn it! Put those guns down! It's uh, it's okay. You can uh, you can get up. And God damn it! Get back! What the hell is this, man? You invited me to come out. Michael Lehman, the director of Heather's, is here with us again to talk about directing Adam Sandler, Brendan Fraser, and Steve Buscemi in Airheads. So why will you shut up? Just get to the point. What? Well, he won this radio giveaway, and when he went down to the station, they wouldn't let him in the building. It was like this total security building. Rich Wilkes had written the screenplay for Airheads on spec as a big fan of Dog Day Afternoon. He and Todd Baker of Island Pictures pitched it to 20th Century Fox. They were fans of Heather's and wanted Michael Lehman to direct their film. Michael Lehman was a big fan of earlier rock music like Jimi Hendrix, but not as much the Guns N' Roses generation being parodied here. But getting a kick out of the screenplay and wanting to familiarize himself with this rock generation, he was in. Casting was a whole process. Lehman wanted to find actors who you wouldn't expect to be in a movie like this. Newer actors, different actors. Yeah. I was editor of the school magazine. Yeah. I used to wear corduroy pants. I used to masturbate constantly. Brendan Fraser had just had his breakout with Encino Man. Adam Sandler, famous for doing Opera Man on SNL, had not even starred in his first film yet. Hillary, the advisor! Hillary, aggressive! Hillary, a power tripper! A president has put a whipper! And Steve Buscemi, who two years earlier had been in Reservoir Dogs, was known for doing quirky indie movies. Fox didn't want to make as edgy a movie as Airheads could have been opting instead for a tamer, more broader appeal. In the 90s, even things like a neck tattoo and a shirt that said blow me were too far for a mainstream movie. The supporting cast, from Michael Richards to Judd Nelson, Ernie Hudson, Chris Farley, and Michael McKean, it really is a cast full of hilarious actors. I've been having a little bit of um, itching on my, um, I mean, it could be hemorrhoids. I don't want to hear that. No, I know, I know. It's just that I made an appointment with my proctologist to get some type of cream or something. After trying and failing over and over again to get their music played, and even watching a far less talented rival band get spotted because they won a contest. The Sons of Thunder, for Christ's sake, Pabble. How can you even tell these bands apart? I read the trade. The Lone Rangers, yes, the three of them, decide to break into the local radio station, KPPX, to get their demo played. In the chaos, they accidentally take the radio station hostage with toy water guns. What do you suggest? Say something, they like you. Shut up, dick smoke. Chaz, come on. All right. Look, I know you would have been cool, but then this penis had to step in and get all heavy. Look, all I want to do is be heard, and then we're out of here. During the hostage situation, it's revealed that Michael McKean is planning on turning KPPX into a soft rock radio station called The Rain, which makes everyone even more sympathetic to the Lone Ranger's plight. Airheads is one of the classic comedies that turns up the madcap energy all the way. Tough, tough! Seriously, move it! I'm not scared, Pip! Come on! I'm gonna stab your heads off! With what? With what? With my dick! Yeah! yeah! And blood's gonna come out of your head! There's nothing you can do about it! Cause I'm a madman! 